walk into some tribe like the movie God must be crazy and see how the man they live. Yeah. No village where them never have no wants, no desire. Until one day something just dropped from the heavens. You understand? And they start the whole program. You understand? Just that that's what our world give us, you know. Cell phone tomorrow them then give us hologram and you know me yeah. and we do just avoid going like this. You know, you can't have time for just greed and enjoy the thing, you know, because everything, the earth is alive and the fullness thereof. That means everything is there, you know. The man wants a little bit more and a little bit more. In the garden of everything that you still want. You understand? So, what you want, you'll get. Yeah. Yeah. Until you realize see, that I have everything already. Yeah. Really? Every day, you understand, you experience a miracle and you learn something new from it. Yeah. The miracle them sometimes you're so busy and focus on that thing that it passes. You understand? But you experience a miracle every day. That's why it's good for relax. Most people don't relax. You understand? You know, until you find more because uh, I'm on everything alright. I see him, him come back, him come back and put my cell phone there. And intention bill up. And I'm fine it and I'm just mm -hmm, come back down again. Some people do them things just out here, you know? Yeah. 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 I grew up with um, my family them being religious people. That means some say my mother go to church. And you know what I mean, and my sister, them and brother. So we go to church too. And we are listen to God's word. When we hear the story of Christ. The story of Christ was the most fascinating story. You understand? Because as I look at you, me hear me hear a story of a man without blemish. Christ. You understand? So I remember all my Sunday school teacher. You understand? When she had tell me all some Christ story. You understand? Yeah. Alright, so we grew up. And then I live in a neighborhood like Greenwich Town. When I said the Rasta man, then as I look at you two, you know, we we'll go over and we we'll start smoke over and we we'll go against the elder them and we hear the elder them attack. Alright, two different living. Okay, so when we go and say look Rasta man, him smart, him are the smartest man we ever known. You understand? But him not so rich. Him just live in a little weird place around there, so in a little bush like home live here, so. But for him yard are the cleanest thing. When you go around there so every morning, him yard well sweep up. And him like a shack when we live in the cleanest place. Girls when him cook, like him have one fish, and when him cook, it share with everybody. You understand? So I kinda see a difference. When we go to church, me hear the church sister them fight against them one another. Oh I mean, oh Mrs. Thompson couldn't wear a better dress. You understand? So as little you know, you know what I mean, cause you know Christian nothing, you know. And rare and then you realize eh, sister, sister Vi and sister Ian did not talk. Yeah, you know, I say, eh? I saw God people are live. You understand? So it's more me kind of cling on to the Rasta living. Come and see a more pure way of living amongst them. But then everybody will fight them. You understand? All the mothers say, don't go where they are, you know. And I say, but why are you moving? Because the money are right. But me, you know, you know, you know. We as youth, you know, you know, we contrast appearance to them. If we are the things with them that like, we kind of hide and do it like. Yeah. You, know, you understand? But we, we know say nothing we are, all get to involve, all right. So the smoking thing was a serious thing because it's a big crime thing. You know, them time, they are 18 months. And the police catch you as a little youth or a mad mad thing. You understand? So we have to have a So it couldn't hide because when you go home and them look by your eye, it's red, even though you wash off the thing and your eyeballs start push out. So you understand? It's a whole part thing. But more and more, Till, you, know, you, you understand, so I get involved in the music now and yeah, things start going till you know, I kind of, I love them look now. I mean, I love the look there again where you have a trim out your hair and, you know, pony C and all them kind of cool look yeah, where, yeah. you know. So I kind of start look the way there. So I have two mothers, you know, one my biological mother and a mother who kind of grow my panting. All right, the mother will grow up because I live with her every day. She kind of gets scared. Why? Because see, all of the youth them kind of look like that and end up in a jail. Not all of them, but most of them. You understand? Because of all the dread. Yeah, Rasta, because remember, it's a, you know, that's why they call Rasta dread, you know. Because it's that dreadful look. It becomes scary. You understand? You know, so when my 
real biological mother see, she said, well, man, it fit me. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, all right. So it's upon that now. And more and more you get into, you know what I mean? Then you start hear things. You know, I used to have a brethren used to listen to a program named The World Tomorrow. Ghana Ted Armstrong, them go deeper than the service here that you at church. Mm -hmm. Them man they go more in a revelation. You understand? And when you hear Rasta talk, I'm more like revelation. Oh. You know the scripture, so you can uh, balance the thing. Yeah, then realize, no, the money have the thing. You know, till you hear well and why, I mean, you know, the man I'm tell you have the crown of the king and we should stop look for our king or queen in Europe because we have our king in Africa and our king is not no ordinary king, he might be the king of all king. And you know what I mean? So the information just start come up till I realize like that. You know, till the journey lead me, monks man like planner, you know what I mean? When I have a mentor, yeah, and then we start, you know them crowded too, till we go grow up with some man like Bob, some man will get up and save a day, Rasta will rule the world. You know, man, I'm tired for some face and live and see that happen. Live, Mr. Part of the generation. So, so it's what the else? Thing that every day. Huh? Bob used to preach them things every day. The joke thing on the Bob, Rasta man. Rasta man. Yeah. You know, some matter if a man can come represent the thing. Yeah. You need one man. Oh. Or two man or whatever. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. one man at least if you can identify one man. Yeah. You understand? And you can wire him up. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, power him up. You yeah. understand? And give him a message. Yeah. And then carry it. Carry it. Yeah, yeah, and then carry it yeah. wisely, yeah. like a postman come drop off the thing. He just go in a letterbox and get it, you know? Yeah, yeah, man. The way there. And it was well delivered. Right. You see what I said? The lyric about it. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like working with like Bob Marley and Dennis Bro? Alright, Dennis Bro's kind of surprised to me because they were so poor. <laughs> Pure, when we used to them get hooked up on the job, it kind of surprised me. Because I told them you the grow and the wisdom, you understand? Bob Marley, it was like, um, it's like everything you'd imagine for the, for, um, the art of leadership. You understand? You know, it's like I can't I can just imagine Bob Marley as the Prime Minister of Jamaica. What kind of government that would be? It was just the whole complete package. The art of leadership. Even today, I'd love to see somebody rise again in the industry who have that. Control. But, but yeah. In, in the street, me and them would have put chronics to that. The next map. You know, well, if, if everybody can want to compare. You know, I've seen the youth a couple of times and him have a great personality and a great spirit. Yeah. But I don't know if he have done enough, enough yet for him to be comparing with great, you know, ones like that. You understand? I let them do with youth all the time. Yeah, yeah, I'm fully agree. You understand me, deal Because this is not a joke thing. You understand? How many albums Chronic put out? All right. Yeah, well, you know what I mean? Just, you know what I mean? Just even, yeah. you know? Just even, just look at it as a banking system. What kind of interest you have if you just have two dollars in a bank with a man who have, you know? <laughs> Three million. You understand? Yeah, yeah. You understand? And I say you have to judge the thing. It's numbered. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah man, we love him personality and that's what we need now because them try it with gangster thing. You know, you see most of the man them, a lot of the old school people in your you know, you know, before your generation, who you know end up a prison as murderer, who you know end up there as juggies and all them kind of thing which is not good message for your youth them. Yes. You understand? You know, Bob Marley thing was good thing for them generation will come will come. You know, uh, mess it up, you know. You understand, because you know, even though it it, it was a rebellion going on, it, it's not. No, you never hear Bob Marley them end up in a jail. You know, you hear them deal with Peter because him, I deal with the herbs so much, legalize it. Yeah. You understand, but if them lock him up, he might come out. 